Earth was, and it's been a bit of time. Um, so sorry, uh, I haven't uploaded. Um, I kind of had some busy days, but I did get the instructions done on uh, done on those days, and those technically count, I guess. So anyway, welcome to How to Build Minotaur. Here are the mater materials you're gonna need. So first thing is instructions. You know, very important. Scissors, ruler. You're gonna need some cardboard or card. Um, something, that, a, a means of cutting a hole in cardboard. Cellophane. If you want to not use bl black marker or pen, use some black tape. Works pretty well. Sh black um, pen or um, marker. Yellow pen or marker or gold pen or marker. Depends if you do have a gold pen or marker. I did not, I'm pretty sure. So I just used the yellow one because that's what Hexbug did with that, with one of, um, not the remote control one, I think the uh, one that you built, like the Vex one, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, also, I think, um, anyway, also, sorry about that. Also, um, if you want, you can use one of these to make really good circles if you want, you don't need to. Also, toothpick, very important. Anyway, I think that's it, I'm not completely sure, so let's get to the first step. So first step is to take your instructions and copy them onto a piece of cardboard, or if you don't have white cardboard, copy them onto a piece of card, and if you don't have any actual cardboard, just duct tape it on the back, uh, or if you do have it, um, actual like normal cardboard that isn't white, um, um, redo the instructions onto a piece of card, and then glue it onto a cardboard, and then cut it out, cut, um, color, but before that, before that, color um, all the different options I gave you, and then cut it out. So, also, just so you guys know what I'm talking, when I say, like, so, I mean practically, like, so, also, if I fold over a piece of tape, and your piece of tape is not long enough to do that, just use a second piece of tape. Anyway, I'll be back with how to make the main body of Minotaur. So, um, this is not all the parts of the main body, but just because some of them are kind of repetitive. So, anyway, um, take some tape, because, like I said... In past videos, tape is one very necessary thing in these builds, and I don't know why I keep saying that. Okay, take some more tape, attach it probably to the back, actually, to start off, so you're just going to attach it to the back. Also, not on that part. Um, attach it to the back. I mean, you could technically. Anyway, attach it to the back. Take this piece, I'm pretty sure. Attach it on. Fold it over. Take some more tape. Oh, by the way, when I fold over the tape and I... And you need to use a second piece of tape. That can also happen vice versa, where I need to use a second piece of tape, and you don't. So, just so you guys know. Anyway, take some more tape because. Okay, I'm not gonna repeat myself again. This is getting really annoying to say. Okay. Um. So take some more tape. Uh, attach it on. Um. Fold over your tape. Um. Take some more tape. I just need to check if that one. Okay. Sorry. I take said tape. Attach it on. Um, attach it on to here, basically. Practically do the exact same thing. Take some more tape. Very necessary. I'm not, okay, really, I'm not saying that. Okay, so take some tape. Um, let me just slice a thinner piece of tape. Um, so take some tape and attach it on to this piece, basically. Um, this piece is definitely going to probably want to be folded down, just so you guys know. So, yeah. Fold your tape down. Yeah. Also, if you do have any extra tape sticking off, you can just like bolt, um, bend it down. Now, because you have three practically carbon copies of it, just attach it to here, here, and here. So I'll be right back. So you're you're going to take some tape and you're probably going to attach it to here. You're then going to bend it over here, over to here as well. And yeah. So this is basically. Just attached to each other. Um, you might need to edit a, it a bit. Anyway, take some more tape and practically do the exact same thing on this side. So, yeah. So, um, something I just realized. Now, Minotaur does have one interesting thing on him that I have that I couldn't really do other without doing this. So, that is his blue LED light thing. There's this blue light that comes out of him when he's spinning, when he's spinning his drum, I think. And so, if you guys do want to do that, you could always take, like, a light, and you could just take it also. And because this is the front panel where this would go, you would just cut a hole in the middle of this, basically, and you would just kind of stick it in a bit. So, I'm going to do that, but you don't need to, obviously. 
So you're going to take some tape and you're going to attach it to this piece. And as you can see, I just I did make a hole in it, but you don't need to obviously because you don't need to use the LED light if you don't want to. Anyway, you're just going to attach it. Um, is this the wrong piece? One second. So anyway, um, if you're wondering what just happened, uh, basically I made um, a measuring mistake when I actually made this, but it still technically would work. But anyway, um, take said tape, attach it on, but on the instructions it is correct, I just don't know why I cut this incorrectly. Anyway, so, yeah, you're just going to attach this, and if you are doing the blue LED light, or whatever, you can just take it, and you can just, because if you did, if you are using it, you might have cut a hole in it, you're just going to attach it inwards, and you're probably going to just tape this on, one sec, I'll be right back. Now, if you are doing this, you're probably going to want to cut a hole in the bottom area just so you can actually access this piece or whatever you use to turn it on and off. Anyway, you don't need to do that, so I'll be back. If you aren't doing this, if I am, so I'll be back. Okay, so because that, you don't really need to do that. Anyway, we're just going to move on. So take some more tape, attach this top piece on, I guess. Attach it on. Try to make it line it up pretty straight. Um, then you're just going to basically fold it over into this area and if you do have things hanging off or things like that you can cut it off or you can bend it in whichever you like to take some more tape and because tape important i don't i should really stop repeating that i right, take some tape attach it onto here and then you're just gonna bend it over um now if you do have if you are doing the led light thing i'd recommend just attaching it over on the sides and not all the way over, but if you aren't, just do it all the way over. So anyway, yeah. So take some more tape. Okay, so take some tape, attach it to this side panel. And you're just going to fold over the tape. Very important. Take some more tape. Alright, take some tape, attach it to the side panel. Fold over tape. And practically do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So, you're going to take these very thin pieces, and you're just going to roll over, oh, before you do that, take off these little back pieces if you're using cardboard, otherwise I don't really see the point in doing that. Um, oh, so just so I mentioned that, just earlier, right now, do the same thing with this, like, drum piece, just so you guys know. Anyway, you're going to bend this into a shape, and basically you're just going to, um, Practically do the exact same thing with the other um, strip as well. Just going to attach some tape. Bend. Nice. Okay, so then take some more tape. So take some more tape, attach it to this circle piece. Attach it. Oh, wow, I did this wrong. So you should attach it to the circle piece, but on the back area. Now this is mainly because otherwise this will not attach very well. And you're just going to fold over this tape piece, like so. So now you do have the inside like so, but unfortunately, it does look a bit odd. And that is just because this otherwise is not going to stay onto the robot very well. So that's the main reason. Um, you're going to take some more tape. And you're just going to attach it. Basically, you're just going to attach tape in a cross on the wheel. And then, like usual... Do the rolly cylinder thingy and attach the double rolly cylinder thingy and attach it on to the robot. And this will create the wheat giant wheels. And these wheels will be protected by the wheel guard. So anyway, do practically do the, do the exact same thing on this side on the back. So take some tape, attach it to this piece. Um, take this piece and attach it on. Wait, this piece, sorry. Um... Kind of give it an at an kind of fold it at an angle, and you're just going to fold over your tape, you know. Yeah, so it gives it a bit of an angle angular look, and yeah, so I'll be right back with some more tape. So take some tape, attach it to this piece. Take um, this piece, attach it on as well. Um, practically gonna do the exact same kind of angle style I just did with the other pieces, and yeah. So take some more tape. So take said tape, attach it to this piece, but on the corner areas, and you're just going to take this piece, and you're just going to kind of fold this onto here, and kind of get a bend in it, if that makes much sense. So you're just going to attach it over to here, and because this is kind of bent, you're just going to attach it on, but this will kind of give it a curvish look 
as well. And this is what will be on the side. Anyway, so um, take some more tape. And yes, I do realize the words are very hard to read on this. I'm sorry about that. I, uh, yeah, had some trouble doing it, kind of. So, yeah, just so you guys know. Um, try to do a bit, bit, of a, a, better, a bit of a better job with the words. But other than that, I think I did the coloring on this pretty well. But anyway, um, take this, and yeah, now you have this kind of style. Now take some more tape. Now take some tape, attach it to this piece. Um, basically gonna be the same deal as this piece. Anyway, take some tape, attach it to here, basically. Um, practically. Take the tape and attach it on, because you are at an angle again. This will also be at an angle when you attach it basically on, practically on. Um, take the other piece of tape and, yeah. So, if you do, you can reinforce the, so you can reinforce the back of these. So, I'll be right back. So, I'll be back because there are parallel pieces to this. And you're practically going to do the exact same thing with them. So, I'll be back. So, we're going to put this actually to the side. Even though, because we can't really connect these until we have the other pieces. And we're just going to keep this on here. So, let's t actually, yeah. So, um, let's make the holder pieces for the weapon. I guess I'm going to call it. As well as the weapon. So, take some tape. Take it, uh, attach it to this piece, basically. Take it, being this piece. Basically, fold over this piece of tape if you, if you need to. And then, you're just going to bend this around this actual piece. Basically. So, also, so, yeah, I'll be right back after I bend it around it, along with some tape. So, now that I understand how this is going to bend, basically, you're going to attach your tape on the top. Take this. Finally bend it, and then just roll over this piece of tape, and then you can bend it over onto here, and basically reinforce the sides. Well, but before you can do that, you need to attach this piece on as well, because it's practically the exact same piece. And then tape them on, so be back. And I just realized about this, you need to make a hole in the center of here. Toothpick size tall, so be back. So practically do the exact same thing with these pieces, so, be so I'll be back. Also recommendation. Probably should do this to it, just so it's easier to bend around. Anyway, be back. Also, just a recommendation. Probably should cut a hole in it first before you attach it on. Also, just so you know, if you if your hole does get covered up by t um, tape, you can always poke a hole through with the toothpicks on the back. Or something sharper if you do need to. Um. Anyway, so these are like the posts, the steel posts on the side of Minotaur, on the front of Minotaur. Anyway, take some more tape. Take that tape, attach it to this piece. You're going to need to do this twice. I'm going to do this once on camera and the other one off camera. So take a triangle, attach it on. Um, take another one of these, attach it on the bottom. Fold it over. Oh, you're going to need another one of these as well. Um, attach it on. Just going to do that. Wrap over the tape. Basically, yeah. So then you have, like, one wedgelet, basically. Practically one wedgelet. Um, yeah, so... Practically do the exact same thing with the, on, with the other pieces that are parallel to it, basically. So, take some tape, attach it to the top of this piece. Um, yeah. Uh, attach it over here, basically, practically. Take some more tape, because, again, tape necessary. Take said tape, attach it to the bottom, and then you're just going to attach it on well. Maybe reinforce it if you need to. But, yeah. So you've, now your little wedgelet on the side of, on the front of the post. Practically do the exact same thing with these with these two pieces. I'll be back. Okay, now cut ho the holes in the practically the centers of these. If you want to, you probably should line them up. I'll be back. Make them larger than toothpick sized holes. So tape, attach it to here. Um, roll this basically into a circle into a circular cylinder. Attach it. The tape on basically. Um, then attach these onto the sides. So I'll be back. So you're gonna take some tape, you're going to attach it to basically the side of here, and you're just going to attach it on to one of, to here. Take some more tape. Take some tape, attach it to the side, and you're just gonna fold it over onto the inside over here, basically. And if you need to, you need to, you can fold over some tape. And practically do the exact same thing with the other side piece. And then, but you need to have the ta drum attached when you do it on, so yeah, I'll be back. Take some tape, attach it to the side over here, bend it over, and then you're just going to take some more tape. You're going to take said tape, and you're just going to attach it to this panel, and you're just going to kind of give it an angle as you attach it to here. So it comes off as an angle over here. And you're practically going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. 
So guys, thanks for watching this video of how to build Minotaur. It actually looks pretty nice in my opinion, though I do have some problems with the front area. But other than that, goodbye.